Hey, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you guys are here for the first time, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. All right. So let's hop into the messages and see what comes out for you at this time. Please remember that these are general. Only take the parts that resonate for you. Leave the rest for someone else. Don't try to force something to fit if it's not your story, okay? I'm hearing abracadabra. And also the color blue. Blue could be significant. I was picking up on blue the other day. Blue magic. Remember I was picking up on blue magic the other day? I'm going to ring my bell, y'all. Yeah, I'm getting like blue magic, fairy dust, purple, throat chakra for blue, crown chakra for purple. Hmm. Okay. I'm hearing a divine counterpart, a divine connection. Okay, all right, spirit come through. <laughs> Holy Spirit, guardian angels, ancestors, spirit guides, spirit team of the highest light of light. Please be with me through this reading for the Libra Collective. I pray that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Please block any evil eye, negative energy, spell work being sent this way. Anyone that meets that means me any hurt, harm, or danger, I ask that they are deal with according to your will. Holy Spirit, please protect me as I channel the messages for the Libra Collective and give me clear and accurate messages as we channel through. Holy Spirit, I say amen. All right. Let's see what the mess. Oh, sorry, y'all. Um, hold on a second. There we go. All right, let's see what comes out for you guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dang. <laughs> well, hold on, y'all. Let me let me fix this. Yeah. All right. It's a lot going on here. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's happening. <laughs> Definitely for Libra, Libra Collective. I'm hearing Gemini and Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I'm hearing Mini Me. Okay, not Capricorn. I'm not child. Let's see. Probably name could be Austin. I'm hearing direct contact, direct line. Jupiter and Aquarius. Somebody's uh, Jupiter is in Aquarius. Somebody has an Aquarius moon. Venus or rising sign. Could even be a sun sign if you're a cross watcher. Uh, Aquarius because you have other Libra placements. Okay. All right. So you have elevation showing up on the bottom of the deck. It says, I free myself from fear and trust the universe. I direct my thoughts to the beauty inside and around me. I use my spiritual strengths and knowledge to create light and I rise above all doubts. Okay, so something you're elevating, something is elevating for you. Okay, some of you need to put something in God's hands or you're trusting God or putting something in God's hands or in the hands of the universe. Okay, higher source, higher power, whatever it is that you guys subscribe to. Okay, <clears throat> I'm here and believe the facts. Believe in the facts. Believe the facts. Don't ignore the facts. Okay. Clear messages, please. For Libra. Someone rising Venus North Node. Wherever you have strong Libra placements, there may be a message here for you. Cross watchers, there could be a message here for you as well. Okay, everything turns to light. Okay. The um I was about to say the oracle, the origami. I could be doing origami, the sacral, and the um, solar plexus chakras could be significant. You can do, do some solar plexus shake, sacral chakra work or healing or meditations, okay? Um, those are the colors yellow and orange. So you may want to incorporate those colors into your daily life. Eat those types of foods, bananas, um, oranges, lemons, my, not the lemon pepper chicken, okay? Lemons. I don't know who that was for, but somebody needed to hear it. Uh, not the lemon pepper, the lemons, okay? But things like that to um, boost your sacral chakras and your um, sacral 
what did I say? Solar plexus. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, solar plexus. Light is very significant, too. Some of you may need to incorporate light into your life. Um, open your curtains. Let, you know, let some fresh light in, some daylight in, or let down the windows. You know, we're air signs. So, of course, let some fresh air in. If, it, if it's cold, you know, turn your heat on and then crack the windows and let some air in. If you can't just go outside, you don't have to leave them open. But something about letting light in um yeah lighting candles around your home could make you feel very grounded fire you may have fire elements strongly in your chart or are you just something about the light of the fire all right okay it says manifestation of light i see the beauty in me i grow and develop my inner self in harmony with light and beauty I free myself from negativity. My heart transforms. My intellect shines, and my inter my inner light grows. Yeah, and look right behind that is more yellow light, fire type of energy. Okay, the sacral chakra and the um, solar plexus are really important here. Hold on, y'all. I want to get my speaking. Of, let me get my incense. Hold on. Okay, so these are lemongrass incense, and they're supposed they're they're for um they're yellow, representing the solar plexus. Okay, so again, like I was just saying, lemon, uh, eating yellow fruits for your um throat chakra is important too. It keeps trying to come through. And y'all, you know, remember we're in retrograde, so my speech and my thoughts and my you know my brain is moving faster than my mouth right now. So y'all just excuse me for that, okay? But let me, um, I'm going to light this lemongrass incense. So this is, um, there's a lot about growth right now. A lot of growth, a lot of elevation. Like I said, the, the very first card we got at the bottom of the deck was elevation. So elevating okay and i and again uh paying close attention to your solar plexus and your throat chakra <laughs> and your um sacral chakra i keep getting confused because i'm trying to say solar plexus and sacral and it keeps regurgitating throat 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 so somebody needs to say something either you need to say something to somebody somebody's holding something back holding something in um there's a conversation that needs to be had somewhere with somebody or you need to speak some type of truth or something like that because i can't get ish out right now yeah and i said purple for the um crown chakra as well so yeah you have freedom I realize my wounds create doubt, resentment, and guilt, so I work to free myself of darkness. Okay, I cast off negative thoughts, find peace in my heart, and discover the being of light within me. Yeah, this is all about, it, both of these cards say, all of these say, um, transforming darkness into light, freeing yourself from negativity, um, growth, inner, you know, beauty, letting go of guilt, and finding peace, okay? So, yeah, um, uh, yeah, and then there's the blue for your throat chakra here and now. The future does not exist. The past is gone. I focus on the present moment. I have confidence in life again because here and now there is no danger. Everything happens when my soul is ready. Okay, so I'm here and I speak life. Um, there's a song, I think it's by Kirk Franklin. I speak life. I don't know how it goes. It might be, might not be Kirk Franklin. I don't know. Um, but anyways, I'm here and I speak life. So it's like you pay, pay attention to your thoughts, to what you're speaking over yourself and into yourself and over your life and into your life. Right. Um, yeah, just paying very, very close attention to your words, your throat, chakra your words your voice are very significant at this time especially for your healing and for your manifestations and your goals and things like that okay somebody has strong cancer in their chart moon sunrise moon, yeah moon sun rising or venus you could be a cancer cross watching because you have leap replacements okay all right what else anything else for Libra. 
I'm hearing Carl Thomas. Alita. January 31st. January 2nd. October 19th. January 17th. February the 5th. November 3rd. Alabama. Somebody could be from Alabama or something about Alabama is significant. Crimson Tide. I'm hearing Roll Tide. Vanessa. Jawan. Melanie. Melody, Christopher, Martez, Joshua, Allen. Okay, let me do one more shuffle because nothing else is coming out of this deck. One more, sorry, y'all. Okay. About paying attention something significant about paying attention stop fighting your fears release uh release of release the need to control things um realizing that you can only control yourself your environment your actions and things like that here okay you may not control life or how life happens but you can control how you react to the things that happen okay um Keep hearing direct contact. Direct contact. Make sure Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Okay. So, yeah, you guys have a direct. Somebody is very close, or you guys, you know, you have a direct contact to, you know, the Most High, the Holy Spirit, um, your 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 guardian angels, your guides, and things. And it's like just tell them what you want. They're listening. Okay. They want you to know that they're listening. All right. Okay. Okay, so you have the freedom card coming out. It says, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Yes, controlling the things that you can control, manifesting. Again, something that you need to say. I mean, I'm also getting like when you're manifesting, it's not just all about in your head as well. If you, you know, believe it and you see it, you can achieve it, right? If you see it, you can grab it. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Um, and I'm getting saying it out loud. Like there's many ways of manifestations. There, there's free writing. There's um, writing it down. There's, you know, just manifesting visualizations. Um, but I'm getting like your voice, your throat chakra. Say it out loud. Say it loud. Say it proud. Say it like you believe it. Say it like you mean it. Okay. Yeah. Speaking, speaking life, speaking the things that you want into existence. Okay. Not just thinking about them, but doing it with some type of combination of, you know, meditation, visualization, speaking it, writing it or whatever. Okay. But definitely speaking and believing what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, because somebody's in denial. Somebody could have been in denial about, you know, what they were manifesting or, you know, if is this really it or is it really going to happen? Do I really have this type of power or do I really, you know, am I really that close to the divine to where I can actually manifest the things that I want and actually get the things that I want? It's like, yes, yes, that's what I'm telling you. You are. You are. Mm -hmm. You are confirmation for somebody whoever was wondering that whoever was feeling like that you are they're listening your guides are listening the divine is listening spirit is listening your ancestors are listening they're listening you may not feel like it it may not you know things may not be showing up as fast as you would like or the exact way that you would like okay but they're listening and i feel like whatever I feel like you you you've seen some whoever is connecting with this message, you've seen fourteen fourteen on the timer I just saw. Smaller things that you've manifested that you may not have even thought about as manifesting, okay? You could have just been like, Oh man, I hope when I go to the store today they have those 
turkey wings on sale because I really need turkey wings, but they're expensive. So I really hope they're on sale. And then you don't think nothing else about it, right? And then when you go to the store, the very next time you go to the store, your damn turkey wings on sale. It's like think about it and forget about it. Put it up there. That's that's the definition. That's how you you know what I'm saying that's that's what that's how you manifest. You put it out there and you forget about it. But there are things that we want so badly to happen that we dwell on those things and we you know you think the harder you think about it or the more you think about it the the easier it'll come or the faster it'll come and it's like no that's because you're stressing about these things and you're dwelling on them and you're constantly thinking about it when we just like I the example I just gave I hope the turkey wings are on sale It'd be real nice if the turkey wings were on sale today. I really want to buy some turkey wings. Or if the turkey wings were on sale on Monday or whatever. And then the very next time you go into the store, you ain't thought about these turkey wings since you said, I hope they on sale. But you put it out there. And the universe heard it. And because you let them have that and deal with that, even if it's a very minute thing, they want you to pay attention to those things at first, okay? Because that's how you, when you start to realize, okay, I can have the little bitty things that I want that I don't even really be giving a second thought. So, you know, figure out how to incorporate into that, into bigger things that you want, right? Okay, I feel like I just went on a whole rant, my bad. But anyway, somebody needed to hear that. Um, relationships fell out here. It says, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good, okay? So, yeah, I feel like attracting like-minded people into your life, forming new relationships, okay? There could be something about um, a specific person, situation, or relationship that in the past that you wish you could change or that you regret how something happened, but, you know, everything happens for a reason. So... Just talk everything up, even the even the stuff that seems really stupid, like, oh, man, I shouldn't have done that. Just talk it up to it had to happen. It needed to happen for whatever reason, whatever lesson you get out of it, whatever the outcome is, that's a lesson that you needed to learn for whatever reason, okay? Pride. says, I love myself and I see myself in everyone, okay? I feel like, um, yeah, you're becoming... You're not, you see, you can see yourself in everyone, which means to me, which means you can learn something from everyone. You know how that commercial used to always come on where they're like, you can learn a lot from a dummy. Like you can learn something even from a dummy. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if it's how not to do something, that's something that, you know, like, yeah, there, there was somebody somewhere that was the first dummy. <laughs> the first person that stuck their finger in a socket and got electrocuted and there was somebody watching their asses like yeah i'm not doing that so yeah you can learn a lot <laughs> from anybody any situation and the fact that you can see you can have a conversation with somebody whether you know a person or not and if they say certain things if they're acting a certain way or whatever you can be like either that's either that's something in yourself that you work through and healed already or either that's something that you know you can't relate to because that's not your issue you don't have that particular issue or either you're like well shoot i feel that same way so maybe i need to look at what's wrong with me okay but either way you're not too prideful and too much in your ego that you can't learn something from every person that you come in contact with or every situation that you come in contact with even if a person is teaching you how you don't want to be treated even if a person is teaching you how you don't want to be talked to even if a person is there to teach you what you will not tolerate absolutely under any circumstances that's still learning something okay so that is growth and elevation balance and that type of balance is what's ushering in and bringing in this this happiness into your life. <laughs> Good grief. Why did I just jump over there like that? Child, this retrograde is not planned. I, I feel like something just knocked those cards out of my dang hand. Like, And the card, I didn't, I shuffled, but the card that was left... When the cards got knocked out of my hand was the doubt card. So it's like, it, it almost feels like somebody's trying to instill some type of doubt in you or sending negative energy your way. Because remember, all those cards at the beginning was talking about 
bringing um transforming the darkness into light and um letting go of the negativity and things like that and it's like someone around you is trying to keep you in a, a state of like doubt and regret and low vibration <sighs> nah fuck that because I'm speaking all this positive ass shit and then the cards just go flying. Yeah, see, growth. Because you're growing and elevate. I literally just said that. Because you're growing and elevating and expanding your consciousness. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. And that's what you're doing. That's what your healing is doing. Humor, laughing, and relaxing is very healing. Some of you like comedy. Some of you are comedians. Some of you just like to watch, you know, comedians and stand-ups. Or you like watching funny things. Or this is something that you could do to raise your vibration. Okay? Yeah, letting go of fear, saying no to that. Okay? Whew. All right. Uh, let's get one more, honey. <laughs> Which one do you want me to um read to the collective? Which one are we reading? Which message do they need to hear the most right now, spirit? Mm, guilt. Be honest with yourself. Honesty on the bottom of the deck. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Yeah. Be honest with yourself, especially in your friendships and in your relationships and people that you deal with on a daily basis or people that are really close to you in your life, okay? Um, you can't change, you can't make people be honest to you. You can't make people tell you the truth about anything, but you can expect it from yourself. You can say, okay, I know you're lying to me or I know you're not being truthful with me, but you know what? That's on you. That's something you got to deal with, work out on, work out on your own. I'm cool because I can be honest with myself and say that I need to distance myself from you because you're a liar, basically. But anyways, so the guilt card is what you need to know the most at right now. 2121, I just saw on the timer. It says, I release any ben any beliefs that no longer exist in my soul's growth. All right. So I'm going to read that one for you guys. Okay. It says the energy of fear, which was right here. Uh oh. Well, I thought it was right there. My bad. Anyway. The energy of fear has many guises to complicate your path to loving yourself. Guilt is the most devious because it is a wolf in sheep's clothing. It is a self imposed emotion that pretends to be instructive and enlightening. Guilt can help us grow when we realize that our actions have been hurtful to others and that we need to make amends. After we do so, though, it's time to learn from the behavior and move on. I was just talking about that. The problem arises when we hold on to a guilty feeling that serves no purpose other than promoting self-destructiveness and low self-esteem. No one is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. Guilt is not always rational, but if you examine it subjectively, act on it, and release it, it becomes a temporary emotion. Long-held guilty feelings are never good and will create a roadblock to self-love and happiness. You must continually scan your current emotions for any guilty feelings and bring them to the surface for analysis. Healthy guilt is a warning that action should be taken. Irrational guilt needs to be released. All right. All right, so I'm going to let y'all sit with that. Take that how it resonates for you. Um, Libra. Um, somebody's getting into a commitment. There may be some difficulties and some setbacks when it comes to this commitment, but I feel like, um, whatever it is, springtime or autumn could be significant. 
Queen of Roses. This is like the Queen of Cups. Yeah. I feel like it's already been prophesied. It's already been... Um, it's already there. You already have it. Remember what I was just saying about manifesting things, how you manifest and um, how you can just say something and leave it alone. Things like love and, you know, relationships and, and you know, career, whatever big things in your life that you really want to manifest, you tend to focus on a lot. OK, and not only focus on it, but you tend to. But it's not just focusing on it, like giving it positive energy and manifesting. You're worrying about it. But I feel like something is already written. It's already for you. There's a commitment that's already set to take place. I feel like there are some type of um, setbacks or blockages or things like that that is happening um, surrounding that. Um, could be some healing that still needs to be done on either side either you or somebody else but i feel like something something is already yours because it's already been prophesied you know what i'm saying it's already written um okay let's see so this is the card that i'm reading the oracle of delphi it says when you receive this card you're in a time of great insight and psychic power even if you don't recognize it yet it lies very close to your consciousness because you have used this gift in so many past lives you may get images or feelings without knowing how to interpret them take notes as you practice both your psychic perceptions and their interpretations just as they gave the Oracle of Delphi a profound awareness, your psychic perceptions and their interpretations give you a powerful insight and an Akashic vision of the world. And remember at the beginning of the reading, I was just talking about, um, you know, your your powers and magic and things like that. So, yeah, it says close your eyes and go within. Feel your psychic power growing, expanding upward from the very depths of your being. Now notice the first thing you sense. All right, let's see what else wants to come out for Libra. What else for Libra spirit? I'm just getting a big sense of freedom. And like you freeing yourself from something. Like you have the ability to free yourself from something, Libra. Okay. Um, for some type of relationship, some type of situation. You have the ability to have the things that you want. Just like, yeah, this freedom card says, um, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Yeah. You have that. You just got to tap in, Libra. You just got to tap in. You got to tap in. You got to tap in. Tap, tap, tap. All right. Let's move on. <clears throat> February 16th could be significant. January the 2nd. January 16th. January the 6th. February the 1st. I'm hearing Jonathan. Marigold. Marilyn. Mariana. I'm also getting um, guided meditation for some of you. If you have trouble meditating or if you like the guided meditations, um, look them up on YouTube and find the right one for you, okay? You have con I can't make it up, y'all. We're just talking about magic and power. Look, you have connection and power. I meant magic, sorry. It says magic. Y'all can't see it, but it says magic, okay? Some of you guys are connected. <coughs> more connected than you think you just need to let go and take action and speak look true look at this look how she's holding her throat wasn't i saying something about the show the throat chakra and then you have truth here some of you just need to let go and step up okay that's it you have this connection this powerful divine magical connection you have the ability whether you you know practice or you may, you may have a long line of witches and 
warlocks or, or you know, powerful people, powerful manifestors in your family that you come from. You may be heavily connected to the divine spiritually um, in whatever way, okay? You do have that connection. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the connection is, but you have it, okay? And whoever I'm, whoever's resonated with this reading has it. And this says surrender. All you need to do is let go leadership stand up and speak your truth your voice your voice your voice is important something that you you have to yeah speak it to the universe look gaia mother gaia the earth speak it to the universe what you want you gotta put it out there you gotta put it out there there's something about your throat your voice remember i remember I, how i just kept being like oh my throat my throat my voice look at that truth somebody needs to speak their truth somebody needs to be and i feel like this is more of speaking your truth to yourself being honest with yourself like i am this powerful magical being this powerful manifester this light worker this star seed this chosen one that is me and it's like embracing that and being honest with yourself and being like okay let me figure this shit out now now that i know who i am let me figure out you know, the ins and the outs and this shit. Yeah, look, the labyrinth. Let me figure this shit out. How the fuck do I get through <laughs> the shit that I need to get through so that I can get to the other end and get the things that I want, okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> what does Libra need to know the most at this time? Okay. Silence. Mm-hmm. Keep it to yourself. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like I, like I said, I don't, I don't feel like this was speaking the truth to anybody else or you're letting it be look on the bottom of the deck we're gonna read that card too i just feel like this is um going within this is like hermit mode this is like hierophant learning the things that you need to learn um yeah because you have the keys you have the knowledge or you have the abilities or something like that and it's like all you have the keys, all you have to do is open the door. Some of you could be moving into a new place and moving, getting a new car, a new vehicle, something about keys could be significant. But let's see what the silence card is. The silence isn't quiet. And it feels like it's getting hard to breathe. I know you feel like dying. What's that song? And we'll rise up. I like the way. Okay. <laughs> it's on rise uh let me know who sings that below i can't think of her name right now um somebody's name is keisha silence it says it's a simple concept less talking and more listening that is what you are being asked to do if you have pulled this card today Really listen with your whole being. Take it all in. Be aware of your surroundings, your body's reactions. Listen to nature and your inner voice. Knowing the right time to talk and the right time to be silent will serve you very well. Will what, will what you want to say add anything positive to the conversation? What are your motivations around speaking? These are some of the things that you can consider. Silence can sometimes be all the answer or response you need. Silence can challenge many people. Some feel the need to fill it with noise, no matter what it is. Some need to leave and find distraction. Others have a physical reaction to silence. When people don't talk in a conversation or argument, it can make other the other party nervous. Why do you think that is? Can you become comfortable with silence? Even better, can you embrace it? The other side of this card is that you deserve to be heard and that the people shaming you for speaking or speaking out i'm sorry and that people shaming you for speaking up or speaking out is more about them than it is about you you have every right to your space and for people to pay attention to your ideas don't allow anyone to shame you for this the affirmation for this card is i know silence is all that is needed okay and you also have a question. If you journal, you can may want to write this down. How can I embrace more silence in my spiritual practice? All right, I'm, I'm going to read the truth card. Look, I turned right to it. I'm going to read the truth card. It says the truth card has come to you today to ask that you see things as they are. There is what is, and then there are the stories you tell yourself. These may ultimately become what you believe and take on as truth. 
put a spotlight on the BS, call yourself out on it. This will allow you to move forward as the truth can and will set you free if you let it. It may be obvious, but it, it is time to tell the truth. No beating around the bush or trying to justify it. Just say it like it really is with as much compassion as you can. There are many universal, natural, and man-made laws that all revolve around ideals of the truth. Know which ones are know which ones of these are mutable and which ones are actual. In a world where our realities are created and ever expanding, know that things can change. If people are not being sincere in their actions or following up with their words, trust that they are showing you who they really are. Words without follow through lack integrity. Truth can be tricky. Many spiritual people talk about speaking truth when really the ego has them hiding behind truth when they are just being plain mean. It may still be true, but at least to them, or at least to them, but what is the motivation of the person delivering the message? Is the integrity lacking? Speaking your truth isn't about making excuses. The affirmation for this card is I speak in alignment with truth and integrity. And the question is, what do I hold to be true in my life? All right. This is her Sagittarius energy. So somebody can have Sagittarius placements or you may be dealing with one. But um, I'm going to leave. Okay. I'm going to um, pull a sacred light bulb for you guys. Hold on. For those of you who are still sticking around, they want me to pull a sacred light. Didn't I say I saw 2121 earlier on the timer? This is card number 21. It says light seeker, light quest, visionary, mental strength, and resilience. Green for the heart chakra. Okay. Somebody could be 32 or 21. I'm just going to get one card here, guys. What's the... Final message for Libra at this time. Please, Spirit, to close out this reading. One final message for Libra, please. One final message for Libra, please. fell in the upright I see, i'm seeing a lot of green here and some blue yeah a lot of green a lot of green a lot of green a lot of green okay so we had two to fall out we have the celestial channel which says hidden beauty remaining optimistic staying neutral soul family happy reunion support order from chaos and then past life a cultural experience it is behind you in regression okay so green and blue are very significant heart and throat chakras um Trying to see june 28th could be significant february 8th could be significant somebody could be 28 somebody's life path number could be six february the 8th did i say that all right i guess i'll read them both So the Ascendant Master Osiris supports you in reconnecting with old friends or family members. Happy reunions bring wisdom and understanding as you free yourself of burdens and insecurities. Reconnections will be made now that in now that initiate new friendships, bringing closure to memories of the past. Often appearing as the great shepherd, he sees the flock before him and knows when to communicate or intervene directly. Much like Osiris, restoration and life surrounding family will bring order and disorder. Spending time with chosen family through celebrations or casual get togethers, reliving stories of love, laughter, excuse me, and the lessons in between. Reconnect to your soul family for they are your best teachers. The um, sacred crystal for this card is Malachite. And the affirmation is, I am confident to stand alone. I am all I need. Um, okay. The Celestial Channel card says, Hidden Beauty, Remaining Optimistic, and Staying Neutral. This just sounds like y'all don't want to be in no mess. <laughs> it's like, my name Bennett and I ain't in it. 
no drama, no mess. I'm just chilling and trying to manifest and, and you know, create in my own life. All right. It says, Ascension Master Lady Sarah asks you to remember the polarity of being. You must honor the light and shadow aspects within yourself as they are part a part of you. You can learn from both aspects as a clear celestial channel and must make peace with them to create your future path. You have and will be a celestial channel of pure intent. Maintain clear neutrality while channeling to create optimum reception. Lady Sarah sees the beauty that hides in messy and confronting situations and suggests you reflect on the past, but move forward with gratitude and optimism. Just like the sun and the moon, these energetic celestials have their own time to shine. And the crystal for this card is Hidden Night. The affirmation says, I learn through rising challenges. My soul embraces these experiences with success. And guys, I know I said just those two. But both of these cards mention the past. And what we have on the bottom of the deck is past life. Okay. And the, all of these cards are tying in with the colors. Theme, green and blue. Lots of green. So I'm going to read this final card. The number 24 could be significant. Your birthday could be September 24th. Um, September 28th. October 6th. All right. February the 4th may be significant as well. But this is going to be the last one, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> Appreciate you guys that are still rocking with me. If you have not already, hit those like and subscribe buttons. Okie dokie. All right. So this one says, Cosmic Master Lord Krishna calls your mind to address the past, bringing healing and closure to unanswered chapters of your life. This unexplained and sometimes irrational these unexplained and sometimes irrational emotions represent the challenges destined to enlighten the soul on its divine path. Be present. Serving on the second ray, Lord Krishna asks you to heal and address past life memories and karmic issues now. Questioning authority and fear of failure will highlight these fears so you can free the chains of the past. Meditate. Avoid being mentally stuck in the past as the time is now. Affirm your soul's desires to the sacred breath of the universe. And the, the crystal for this is Shiva Lingram, Shiva Lingram, Lingam, L-I-N-G-A-M. And the affirmation is, I am grounded in the present. My heart is centered and focused on today. I think I said something about being in the here and now earlier. But anyway, I'm going to leave the message here. Hope this helped. Love you guys. Bye.